Hi folks, welcome to the channel and another Truck King news update. Today we're talking about a brand new big SUV from Mazda. This is the first ever CX-90. The 2024 CX-90 is a brand new product from the brand and it arrives on an all new large SUV platform that is going to underpin big three row vehicles. Unlike other companies, Mazda, or Mazda as we like to say here in Canada, they are sticking to their roots and that is because this is still a rear biased setup. So the engine is longitudinally mounted, so it's sending power to the back first and then it'll come to the front wheels thanks to standard iActive all-wheel drive. But other companies just stick with the front wheel drive setup and then send the power back not Mazda. They are committed to having those sporty driving dynamics even in a big SUV and that's why we end up with this rear drive biased setup. Now it's time to talk power and there are two different powertrains available and both of them are electrified. We start with the 3.3 liter inline six turbocharged engine. Now this is the most powerful mass produced engine by Mazda ever. It is making 340 horsepower and 369 pound feet of torque when it uses premium fuel, which of course is recommended. Now I mentioned it's electrified. On this engine, it's just a mild hybrid system. Mazda calls it M Hybrid Boost. So this is gonna use a small battery with an electric motor sandwiched between the engine and the transmission. So that motor can actually help to drive the wheels, give you a little bit of that power, but this one won't run exclusively on electricity. Unlike the other powertrain, which Mazda calls the e -Sky active plug-in hybrid. Yes, as the name suggests, you'll be able to plug this one in and run it on just electricity thanks to a 17.8 kilowatt hour battery pack. Now that battery is paired with a two and a half liter four cylinder engine, total system output here, 323 horsepower and 369 pound feet of torque. Both of those engines will be paired with an eight speed automatic transmission. Sadly, the one thing we didn't get from Mazda was any numbers on sort of the all electric range that you can expect. With a 17.8 kilowatt hour battery pack though, that's not huge. I wouldn't expect it to be a lot more than 50, maybe 60 kilometers. We'll have to stay tuned and see once they release what that number is. Looking inside, the CX-90 has sort of the classic simple lines that Mazda likes to use. There's a new 12.3 inch screen in the center stack. And the other thing you'll notice is that like all of the other Mazda products, the CX-90 really looks like it's going for a more premium upmarket feel. Mazda also pointed out that they spent time in the third row making sure that those passengers have USB ports, their own vents, and their own lighting. Now again, this release is really about just seeing the CX-90 because there wasn't a ton of numbers. The one I'm most curious about is legroom. I wanna know how big this third row is, especially because Mazda products have always been criticized for going for styling over space. They've never been the kind of vehicles you buy because they're the largest interiors in their segment. Generally, they're the smallest interiors and cargo space in the segment. So it seems like the CX-90 is trying to reverse that trend a little bit, but until we actually see the numbers, I won't know exactly how big it is. Safe to say though, it's gonna be bigger inside than a CX-9. Mazda's suite of intelligent safety features, things like blind spot monitoring and radar cruise control are all featured here on the CX-90 as well. Well, folks, we are coming to the end of this video. Like I mentioned, range and interior specs, they haven't been released, but the one number I did manage to get is tow rating, and this new CX-90 is going to be able to do 5,000 pounds. Now I did reach out to Mazda looking for these numbers. I probably won't get an answer before this video publishes. So you can go look in the comments. If I do get an answer with those numbers, I'll make sure to drop them down there. 
So Mazda says that we can actually expect to see the CX-90 on the road in spring of 2023. So that's just around the corner. And if we get a chance to drive one, you know we're gonna bring that review to you guys. So make sure you go below, leave me a comment on what you think of the CX-90. As always, while you're down there, don't forget to hit that like button, hit subscribe, hit join to become a Truck King member, and then come right back here to the channel to see what we're testing next. See ya.